Okay, so moving on to uh, uh, the muffler here. Uh, one of the first things we need to do, seeing we enlarged this port out here where the muffler flange is going to be, we need to match this muffler to that flange. And this baffle is just going to be in the way to do what I want it to do. So I take these out. Uh, the baffle is in there for two reasons. Uh, one is to reduce uh, noise, uh, add a little back pressure, that. Uh, and the other is to actually add some bracing to the, to the muffler itself. Um, the, the muffler has got another whole second layer in the back. And I've really not seen where taking these out weaken the muffler at all. Um, this just doesn't seem to happen so um, we got a brace here it's spot welded on uh, you, you, you can remove this any way you want uh, we can grind these spot welds off uh, or we can just cut this I choose to just cut it this one on this you know one on each side here and I just cut those and then there, there's some spot welds up in here um, and we have to locate those spot welds and on a new muffler you can just see them but on a used muffler you usually got to do what I do is some light scraping and the bump from the spot weld will show up and I believe that on this one it's only going to be one spot weld per side the bolt kind of acts as another fastener so you don't need to have a second spot weld so we need to find spot weld. This one's kind of not in the best of place over here, but we will deal with that. <coughs> and what I use to cut that with is it's an eighth inch double cut uh, burr. Um, these wear out fast. I break them. Um, that kind of stuff but this is what I use um, and to cut and they work out all right um, and this can tend to get awfully loud working on this tin so might want to turn the volume down a little bit I put a center point on the center of the spot weld for the drill bit to center itself This one on this side is going to be a little bit of a problem as far as getting it drilled out.
So I've got these cut and now we'll go over to the drill press and we'll drill them two spot welds out. nothing to it it's out of there and we'll move back over to the grinder so I bolted the muffler casing back up to the cylinder and uh, the top match is pretty good we really didn't change the uh, top of the port much we've got to take some out of each side and the bottom uh, to get that to match and we've got some little ugly stuff left here that we want to make sure that we remove clean these uh, spots up here um, and I use a double cut anytime I'm on steel uh, don't try to use an aluminum hog here you're just gonna wreck it We've got to do some deburring and stuff on there yet, but we'll take the muffler casing back off and do all of that.
got some deburring done. We got this loose stuff cleaned up on there. Um, we're gonna be making this port bigger. Has a pretty tiny hole for the size of saw it is. And we're gonna be adding two ports onto this, and um, we'll just get started with that. Um, I'll be marking it out a little bit. I drill some holes. Uh, probably won't show all of this 100%, but I'll show most of it. So we'll come back to that. Drill a couple holes in there.
So the screws I'm using are the same screws that go on the top of the muffler cover and the nuts are, um, I don't know, they got a flange on them and I think they're for carburetors for the most part, um, steel saws. So um, that's what I use there. I'm going to weld these nuts in here um, so you don't have to deal with them. If you want to take a screen off or whatever, they're, they're going to stay put. I'll be back. There's really nothing special about welding those nuts in there. I just tack them in there. Uh, once you've done that, um, there's always welding splatter. You get these little balls hanging around. You got to make sure that you get all of that out of there. And uh, don't leave any of those behind. Open mufflers is, is fairly easy to clean this stuff up. Uh, closed mufflers, it's, it gets to be a bigger job. But uh, you get all that stuff out of there. Make sure that we get it before we put this thing back on and uh, stuff like that. There's more grinding and stuff to be done here. So uh, I just chase after mainly with this and knock them all off and... Muffler that's got some carbon in it, they generally don't stick, you know, very well at all. They, they stick where I've ground or cut or done that kind of stuff. You got to check all those areas pretty close. And a brand new mufflers, they stick all over on those. Uh, I usually spray some stuff on it that's supposed to keep it from sticking. It does help. And again, it's hard to get everywhere on a on a closed muffler but you don't have to fight the nuts when you're putting it back together and if one of these were to fall off for whatever reason uh, the nuts contained in there it doesn't end up rolling around and end up into your piston and cylinder and I just like the idea of having them welded in there. 
there's other methods you could do um, um, nut rivets or something you know cheap metal screws never seem to work um, they always seem to strip out fall out come loose <coughs> all that fun stuff <clears throat> this is a um, uh, 288 muffler deflector they're they're made out of two pieces and the the deflector cap fell off and I use this as a pattern it's what I patterned my deflectors off when I made them um, and I used the 288 uh, screens and uh, I can just line the bolt holes up and mark out what I'm gonna cut out something like that and we're gonna cut that a little smaller than that and then uh, I'll probably change the angle on this one a little bit and we'll, we'll reshape that a little bit um, afterwards
We don't want to leave any square corners in there. Um, that's where cracks start. And if we make nice round corners, we don't have any of those issues of cracking. guys complain about screens plugging up this is an original screen in here it's never been out of there as far as I can tell and there's nothing wrong with that screen you know it's got some stuff on it but it's nowhere near plugged up at all and we're gonna be putting screens on these um, as far as port placements um, on a 660 I can put pretty well know that I can put those there uh, some guys like these dual port covers uh, this is for a 60 046 so it doesn't fit but <coughs> same idea <clears throat> um, adding a port in the front of the muffler like this um, gives us all a little more RPM you lose a little more torque if you keep the ports on the sides it seems to give a little more torque and you can actually put larger ports on the sides than you can on the front and maintain that torque and actually get more exhaust out of it faster so um, I like putting them on the sides and then of course we're going to open up the original port but I don't like to bring that port out beyond this deflector um, if anybody's running a full wrap handle, they'll know that they don't want this port opened up because it blows directly on their hand. And the other thing is, is I don't want it on the blowing on a brake lever. So I don't open this up a whole lot, uh, probably almost three times the size, but I don't come out of this beyond this deflector. And otherwise, I would have to add more deflector onto it. And I don't really need it because of the size of these holes. So I made that quite a bit bigger in there and 
and uh, I don't need anything more than that and I'm not beyond the the deflector and everything there looks good to me and had a couple little more boogers in here to get rid of and stuff like that I guess but not too many um, I think we're going to put the rest of the screens back on we got everything kind of deburred, got rid of all the rough stuff uh, anything that might fall loose is is gone and and uh, cleaned up at this point that I can see anyway well, like I said the screens are I order them through Husky uh, dealer and they're just uh, for the 288 uh, they fit some John's Roods too like uh, some of the 670 mufflers had these um, they fit a few um, I usually order 50 or 100 or whatever at a time I do a lot of a lot of saws so it takes a lot of parts I don't order a lot of stuff from uh, Husky or John's Rude. I'm really not a dealer, no saws anymore. Uh, so I have to go to another dealer uh, to get them. So um, usually do better at price if I can order them in bulk. I give that screen just a little bit of bend it helps it um, lay flat once it's uh, once it's bolted on there And I like to tap the um, the edges down so we're on that screen nice and tight, seals up a little better. Easy enough to change screens if you need to. Uh, don't have to very often with these. I don't. I don't see a lot of issues with them. So, um, but that's my basic muffler mod. That's this is a 660. We found that two deflectors, and and this deflector is taller than this one. Um, I have room for a tall one here. I don't have room for a tall one here. So I make two different ones. This one's about a half an inch tall. This one's about three quarters of an inch tall. The pattern is the same otherwise. Um, so that about does it for the muffler. And then uh, we'll move on from here.